the Republic of Negros, Hiligaynon, Republica Sang Negros, Cebuano, Republica Sa Negros, Filipino, Republica Ng Negros, Spanish, Republica de Negros was a short-lived cantonal revolutionary republic in the eponymous Visayan Island, and later, an administrative division, which existed while the Philippines was under Spanish and American sovereignty. History From November 3, 6, 1898, the Negrenses rose in revolt against the imperial Spanish authorities headed by the politico-military governor, Colonel Isidro de Castro. The Spaniards decided to surrender upon seeing armed troops marching in a pincer movement towards Bacolod, the main city of the island. The revolutionaries, led by Generals Juan Araneta, from Bago and Aniceto Laxon, from Talisay, were actually carrying fake arms consisting of rifles carved out of palm fronds and cannons of rolled bamboo mats painted black. On 5 November, Spanish officials surrendered themselves to native leaders. A provisional government was then established with Aniceto Laxon as president, and a notice of this was sent to Emilio Aguinaldo in Luzon. On November 27, 1898, the unicameral Chamber of Deputies Spanish, Camara de Diputados, met in Bacolod and declared the establishment of the Cantonal Republic of Negros Spanish, Republica Cantonal de Negros. The Chamber of Deputies acted as a constituent assembly to draft a constitution. Eventually, the proposed constitution of the Federal Republic of Negros was not implemented. With the looming invasion of the United States Army, President Aniceto Laxon raised the American flag in the Casa Real to welcome the army as a friendly force. Despite the initial protest from the Negros Oriental deputies, the republic was surrendered to U.S. forces on March 4, 1899, and came under U.S. protection on April 30, 1899 as a separate state from the rest of the Philippine Islands. On the 22nd of July 1899, it was renamed the Republic of Negros. However, on 30 April 1901, it had been dissolved and the island of Negros was annexed to the Philippine Islands by the United States, which retained control until the Japanese imperial occupation in World War II. On January 1, 1899, the Federal Republic of Negros was proclaimed as a state or canton with two provinces. Notice of its establishment was sent to General Aguinaldo. On March 4, the island of Negros was surrendered to U.S. forces. Republican leaders The leaders of the short-lived republic were Commemoration In Bago City, the event was chronicled in a historic marker found in the public plaza, which bears the following inscriptions. November 5 has been observed as a special non-working holiday in Negros Occidental through Republic Act 6709, signed by President Corazon Aquino on 10 February 1989. See also Negros Revolution Negros Island Region Cebuano Visayan State References Kala, Maximo Mangat, 1921. The Present Government of the Philippines. Oriental Commercial. ISBN 1-4067-4636-3. Note, 1. The book cover incorrectly lists author as Maximo M. Lala. 2. Originally published in 1921 by the McCullough Printing Co. Manila. External links The Opposition to the Americans and the Canton Republic of Negros